Action Collision. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he's loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Newcastle, England, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. to lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big hook. Mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, 
big left. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And both guys really flowing with authority. Big front lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that, John Oh, Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of... Mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Ten seconds now to go on the round. Oh, spinning breakfast out of nowhere. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, yeah, right here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back in range. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of the range with that right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good punch. Just miss hitting the target flush. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Both fighters throwing heat now. Punch over the top. Oh, that's a good right hand. 
That was a thudding leg kick. Try to establish that jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a hustle. need to be on the feet right now. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. When Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter, it's better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Checks the leg kick. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Switching stances here. See if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Right under the elbow, the body keep land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice. Nice punch here. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Right hand on the counter. Big head kick. Blocks the shot. Some of the action in that round, DC, there was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Big leg kick land. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Whoa! What a fight so far! All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Are you ready? You ready? So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. I mean, look at the commitment to kick Powerful leg kick land. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Pretty significant well to the left side. Body kick now by Lee. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Got clipped with the right hand. Straight right. Straight hand now. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. Well, it's 
one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh! Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Big kick lands. Nice one, two there. One minute to go in the fight. He missed with that jab attempt. Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 16 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by...